sprinting's my life, really. It means so much being able to wake up and do something I love every single day. I'm Thomas Young. I am a T38 100 metre sprinter for British Athletics and Paralympics GB. Been in the sport now for four years. I started at Berlin in 2018 and won double gold. I then went to the World Champs where I won a silver medal and then we all came back in 2021 where I won the Paralympics in Tokyo. There's lots of classes in para-athletics but what people don't understand is that you can be ambulant and not see the impairment but you still have the impairment. I have NF1 and that basically affects my coordination when I'm running. He was diagnosed when he was 13. He doesn't see it as a challenge. He doesn't see it as, oh, I've got a condition, so I'm going to sit around and do nothing. He just gets on and carries on. He doesn't, he doesn't let it get in the way. The first five years of my running life, I had no clue that I could actually compete as a para-athlete. When I joined my coach, Joe, he had some Paralympic champions in the group. My group is more founded around people's focus on coming and working hard and trying to develop and get better, which means that the group is very diverse. Tom came down, did a bit of training, but as you could see, he was one of those people that would work hard. That kind of progressed into finding out about Tom's impairment and getting them classified. The para-sport situation came along, which we knew nothing about. It was only when his sort of coach realised he had a condition and then it opened up the world of para-sport. And it's just gone from strength to strength. Sometimes you want to be viewed as the para-athlete, but sometimes you're just an athlete at the end of the day. So a lot of the time, I think we just want to be viewed as equal athletes. Para-athletes don't get as many chances, as many opportunities. I just think in my time in the sport, I want to make it better for the next generation coming, coming through. It's really important to get Gen Z more and more into sport. After London 2012, there are so many kids in multiple sports. So hopefully with another home games being in Birmingham this year, more and more kids can get back into sport. Unfortunately, I took a fall racing a few weeks prior to the Games. When we sat and we explained to Tom that, look, we're going to have to withdraw from the Commonwealth Games, he kind of got it. Very mature about it. The danger is you go and do the Commonwealth Games and you have an injury that affects you for the next two, four, six, eight years. Big thing for Tom was that, and he did say at the end of it, he went, I still want to support my team. Even though I won't be on the track running, I can still be there, be on social media and show that para-athletes are athletes, you know, and I always believe everyone's born a champion too, so if I could even inspire one kid, you know, and that kid can do something he or she loves to do, that would just be amazing. You know, people say about leaving a legacy, and I, I always think that with para-sport, the legacy is not a time. The legacy is somebody at home watching Tom that's got an impairment that's looking and going, I want to do that. As a mum, I hope all I want is him to be happy in whatever he's doing, whatever that may be. But I hope he does achieve all the goals through his athletics. Tom's legacy could be that he can show that even with an impairment, you can compete against your able-bodied counterpart at a high level. He's just been in athletics for four years and you look at people's maturation age and how long have they been training. Tom is 21. So really, he's got another four years before he gets to his best. And he is the best in the world right now. So we're talking about Paris, he's going to be fantastic. LA, he's going to be out of this world.